SATCOM ready. SATCOM uplink enabled. Friendly chem strike incoming. Losing Bravo! We lost Bravo! Enemy has me! All right, my very first chem strike in Call of Duty Ghosts, even though it was from a care package, I don't care. A chem strike is a chem strike. And look at this right here. Woo, that guy gets messed up as I get taken out right there. What's up, you guys? It's so OGCP De Silva. And yes, I am using a sniper rifle. You want to know why? The previous game we were in, I, Goose, and Arrowshot, they were playing with me in this lobby. The, the dude was just beasting us with this setup, with the USR, and just quick scoping the heck out of us. He was beasting us, man, and it was honestly very, very frustrating because we were just getting murked. We didn't even have a chance to react, and it was just something that we were like thinking, oh my goodness, we have to change up our game, or we have to do something in order to take this guy out, or just leave the lobby altogether. But then, we had an even better idea. Goose and I decided, why not just give this setup right back to him and take it to him with the weapon that he's using. And you know, I decided to up my game a little bit more than that. I decided to throw on this thermal scope and chrome line as well. And by the way, if you don't know what chrome line is, if you haven't used the sniper rifles at all in this game, chrome line ups the damage on your weapon but at the cost of a considerable amount of kickback, which doesn't even matter at all in this game because there is little to none or little to no idle sway at all. And that's why these sniper rifles are so cheese in Call of Duty Ghosts. Yes, the aim assist is gone, but the freaking sway, there is little to none there. So that's what makes it so easy. And of course, quick scoping is back in full force. And you know what? I think the thing with this game is the reason why I haven't uploaded a comm or a gameplay in five days and by the way it has been that long I apologize for that but my relationship with Call of Duty Ghost thus far has just been a love-hate relationship it's a day-to-day -day type of thing one day I'm loving this game and one day I'm hating this game so it just depends on the type of lobby I get into and obviously this game more than anything the biggest complaint that I have is the amount of campers and obviously that's not gonna go away anytime soon or actually ever because campers are going to be in every single game and you just have to deal with it but I think what makes it um, even more prevalent or even more you know noticeable in this game is because the maps the maps are so huge right so obviously with the maps having these spots for campers to camp in and also the fact that you have very low health um, prevents people from going out you know because you're going to get killed out in the open really quick and for me, running and gunning was my type of thing. In Black Ops 2, I was running and gunning the whole game. I had, you know, absolutely no fear in that because, you know, I could take a few hits and take people out. But my biggest gripe is I just drop way too fast in this game. I mean, if they had Modern Warfare 2 health at least, that'd be great with me. They could at least maintain some type of running and gunning. But um, the biggest complaint that I have, I guess Goose will explain it exactly well to end this video. I'll see you guys next time. This is OGCP De Silva, and I am signing off. I am so fucking tired of being shot by one bullet in this game. It is the most annoying fucking thing in the world.